Well, welcome everybody to our program on addiction and recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we've been talking about this idea of being present for yourself, or in psychology we call it presence. And we talked about uh, 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 Dr. Ora Krug's idea that perhaps maybe one of the cornerstones of recovery is this, is this idea of being present. And one of her mentors was Irving Yalom, the great psychiatrist. And Yalom developed a style of therapy in which he was intensely focused on the relationship, the encounter between himself and his patient. And not that we want you to all become psychiatrists or anything like that, but there's a lesson in here if you want to help become more self-aware uh, in yourself in the here and now, to become present for yourself. And that is borrow one of Yalom's techniques. And you can do this quite easily. When you have a conversation with somebody, and generally, you know, not a one-minute special, nothing like that, but with a friend or family member, try to pay attention to what's going, what you're feeling about the relationship. So what is... If you're having a discussion, do you feel close to the person? Do you feel distant from the person? Or if it's a, a, a sensitive topic, uh, notice yourself whether you're, you know, are you getting twangs of conscience, uh, some guilt? Or maybe do you have compassion for the person? What, what is this relationship like that you're having? And again, uh, these, these sort of things take practice. You, it's very difficult to master them by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. But they are recognized ways of developing the self-awareness that so many people uh, with addiction seem to lack. Anyway, uh, next time you are spending some time with a family member, a loved one, take some time, but just in addition to the, the official topic of the conversation, just pay attention to how you're feeling. Are you, are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling really connected with the person? What, what is that relationship like for you? Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. We'll be back uh, next time uh, with the last in our series on presence.